I've had this desk for a while. I actually thought about selling it and not refinishing it, but when I looked into the manufacturer of this desk, I ultimately decided to refinish the piece. This piece was manufactured by Marshall Fields and Company, a brand I've never heard of before, but I'm sure there's someone watching who is familiar with the name. The company originated in Chicago, Illinois in around 1865. In 1881, it rebranded officially to Marshall Field and Company, selling wholesale dry goods along with having a retail store, which eventually evolved into a modern department store. In 1990, Target Corporation purchased Marshall Field stores. They were sold again in 2004, and by 2006, the store was renamed to Macy's, whose parent company had purchased the stores from Target. There were hundreds of protesters over renaming of this iconic Chicago store. I would consider this flip to be on the beginner level. We just need to remove the finish, which is failing in a few places, and repair some of the damage with wood filler. The final finish to this piece was a bit more than I originally anticipated, but when we get there, I'll explain what I ended up doing. The finish on this piece appears to be shellac. There are several different ways to remove this finish, one of them being acetone, which is also a good way to test and confirm it's either shellac or a varnish. I ended up going with a combination of my carbide scraper and sanding most of the finish off. For my initial sanding, I started with 120 grit and I incremented up to 180 grit. I spent most of my time sanding this piece, hand sanding and using the orbital. The carbide scraper was used in tighter spaces to remove the traces of finish left in angular places. It's amazing that it held up for 70 years. It is definitely the original finish. Applied in a factory, this step was probably someone's career. But over time, it started to diminish. So we will sand and scrape, carefully maintaining the desk's shape until this piece can find a new place and maybe store a pencil case. It is interesting when you think about the prevalence of department stores today in the US. Marshall Fields was the first department store to have a tea room, the first bridal registry, and even introduced the concept of a personal shopper. They were also the first store to offer revolving credit and to use escalators. Since all the finish has been removed, I'm going to use a tack cloth and a vacuum to pick up all the sanding dust that was left on the desk. I didn't actually notice the date stamp on the bottom of the desk until I was cleaning the piece up from the sanding dust. 
It says May 8th, 1952, which means the desk is slightly over 70 years old. These lighter color woods tend to turn yellow when a finish is applied. My personal preference is that I don't generally like yellow wood tones, but I did want to see what this piece looked like with just a clear coat of water-based polyurethane. You could use water or mineral spirits and wipe the desk down to get a better idea of what the color would look like. However, I'm going to end up applying water-based polyurethane anyways, so this will be my base coat. Of course, it turned out pretty yellow, and it's more yellow than the camera's even picking up. But to correct this, I just made a water-based paint blend with my water-based polyurethane. I mixed up a combination of Carts and Millie Driftwood Stain, which has a brownish gray tone, and some Sailboat Blue, which is a bluish gray, and that'll help counteract the yellow. And then I mixed in some sea spray, which is a creamy white color, and that'll give it a brighter tone to the polyurethane. If you're doing this, you wanna make sure that you're mixing it thoroughly and then apply your first coat and let it dry. That way you can see what the tone looks like on the wood and then you can adjust as you go. If you need to adjust the mixture, you can add more or less. And then if you've added too much on that first or second coat, you can just go back and lightly sand it and it will help to cut down on any tone that you've applied to the, to the wood. For the final touches, I'm just going to apply some Howard's Feed and Wax to all those raw wood surfaces, especially the drawer sliders because they are wooden. This does help the drawers move in and out quite a bit more. So if your drawers are sticking on your own dressers at home and they're not metal slides and they're wooden ones, just apply some wax to them and that will typically help them open and close more easily. While I have never been in one of these stores, I imagine it was a grand experience, especially during its peak. Please feel free to share any experiences you have with the store in the comments. It's basically the reason I decided to make this video and I really enjoy learning about these types of things and being able to share with this community.